Hi everybody, this video will describe how to migrate certain content from a previous project into a new project so that you can reuse assets you've created before and not have to uh, create them from scratch. I've created a new project here and the key part here for migration is that you need to create a new project and save that new project first before we can migrate. Uh, so I created a new project and I've incorporated starter content as default. One note, if you want to add starter content that you did not start with it, you can always go to Add Import after your project's created. Go up to Add Feature or Content Pack, and then go to Content Packs, and then Add the Starter Content. <clears throat> uh, I've already added that in here, but in case you wanted to do that, you can do that even after a project is created. I have a couple of the things like some materials and some blueprints that I've practiced with uh, for this specific project. One thing I don't have is a playable character. So in a previous project, I created a playable character for a first person shooter template. I wanna copy that over here. And Unreal's method of doing that is using migrate. So you first need to create your new project and save your new project. So we do save all. And then what we're gonna do is open up a project where you have your asset already created. So I'm gonna open up this project. It's gonna take a minute or so. So the project that we are migrating to needs to be created first. And then we're going to open a project where we have that asset that we need. So if I play, I, I want this first person character movement and then even shootability to transfer over to my new project. All right, so to do that, we're going to open up our existing project where we have that detail. And there's two ways we can do this. If we want an individual asset, to migrate over. We're gonna right click on that asset and then go to asset actions and then choose migrate. So maybe we'll do that with a different asset here in a minute. But for the character, I want the entire character folder. I want this character blueprint, uh, which looks like this when it opens. There you go. So it has my character, my camera, my event graph, everything else that I've done so far. And also want my projectiles that I've created. So here is <coughs> excuse me, my character folder. If you want to migrate over an entire folder, now we do not want to migrate over our entire content folder. So make sure you're only migrating the specific things you want so we're not bloating the size of the new project up with things that we aren't going to use. So in my content folder, I'm going to right click on my characters folder and choose migrate. So if it's a folder, you're going to right click and choose migrate. If it's an individual asset, you're going to right click and choose asset actions in migrate. We're gonna do the whole folder for character. So I'm gonna right click and choose Migrate. And here are all the assets that are connected in this folder that are potentially connected to something else. So it says, well, do you wanna migrate all of these assets over? So let's just choose, okay? And then we have to go find your project folder of your new project. So here's my new project folder. And I'm gonna make sure I put this in the content folder of my project folder. So this is of the new project folder. Make sure you put it in content. Uh, it says assets already exist. Do you want to overwrite them? Yeah, that's fine. Yes to all. That's because I'm referencing some of the content or starter content. And I already have the starter content folder in that new project. All right, let's go to maybe our meshes. And we have a little coin. So maybe we'll actually migrate our coin over as well. So we'll right click on that asset and we'll do asset actions and migrate on that coin by itself. There's all the things that it's going to copy over. And exploration test project content. Let's right click and, click and create a new folder. And we'll call this one meshes. And I want to dump that into that meshes subfolder. There you go. Uh, do you want to replace? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. We can also migrate over like this health pack thing, and we'll see if it copies over properly. Migrate. Uh, meshes. There you go. Yep. All right, so that's how we can migrate individual assets or folders that's underneath our content folder to a new project. Let's go back uh, into our other project that we titled Exploration Test Project. We'll let it load that one. Here's our folder. So if you look in our content folder, we should see our characters and we should see our meshes. 
and the assets that are needed for them are in here as well. All right. Cool, so now I have a characters folder with my character blueprint. I have a meshes folder, and it actually copied over because that mesh uh, actually had a couple of the subsets to it, so it actually copied over the characters folder and the meshes folder uh, in it as well. Looks like I created a subset one for uh, the health also. So I can actually just drag this back up to like the meshes folder, move here. There you go. Uh, and I can reset some of these things. I'm going to go see, find my um, other level. So here's my base level that I've created. And I have some materials that I've played around with, and I'm going to do another video for that describes how these materials are set up. But let's take our character. And we first need a game mode. So we're going to create a new game mode. So blueprint class, game mode base. And call this in game mode. Uh, Explo exploration, sure, whatever you want to call it. And here's my game start, or player start. Let's move that back here. And when I want the game to start, I want to open up our game mode. I want to load this default BP player. So let's go uh, default pawn class, BP player. There you go. So to load this BP player. Right, actually, let's go back in there and compile. So when we play, did not load it there. Let's see, project settings. Yep, that's right. So we got to go to project settings. And then we need to go to uh, maps and modes. And from our default game mode, we need to change that to our game mode exploration. Okay. While we're at it, since we're starting a new project, we can change our default uh, editor startup map to our exploration test level and our game default map to that same level. So that way when we start up the editor or when we play, it will automatically play from this level right here. So now if we hit play, there's our weapon. We don't have our axis or action inputs in here, so I can't really do anything. But I know my player character is loaded. So let's go back out. Go to our player settings, or project settings, and go down to our inputs. So one thing it did not export over is the access or any of the input or any of the settings underneath our project settings. Another thing I could do is go back into the other project and export the project settings and then import them into this new project. But it's not going to take me long to add these access and action mappings back in. I'm going to open up my player character blueprint just so that I know. When I got some warnings, the warnings are your access and inputs are not set up. Let's go to our event graph and just make sure we have all the ones that we need. So we need uh, movement forward, <coughs> excuse me, movement right. So in our axis mappings, we're going to click our plus symbol. And we need one called move forward. And that one's going to be the uh, W key. And then we need another one, which is going to be the opposite, which is going to be the S key. There we go, and that's going to be negative one. And then we need another axis mapping that's going to be called move right. We want to make sure we title it the same as what we have over here. And that's going to be uh, the D key. And then we need another one, uh, key for the move right, and that's going to be the A key. It's going to be the opposite, which is move left. So then in our blueprint, we also need a look X and a look Y, which is going to be our mouse commands. So let's add another axis mapping, and this one's going to be called look x. Make sure we tile it the same. And this one's going to be synced to our mouse x. We need another action mapping, or axis mapping, sorry. That's going to be called look y. And this is going to be to mouse y. There you go. We have some other ones. We have jump. And this is a action mapping. So let's do action mapping and open this up. And we'll just simply call that one jump. And let's hit the plus symbol. And that will be to spacebar. We have some other ones like crouch, sprint. We can add those up. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do my, uh, where's my shoot? So action shoot and alt shoot. So we'll go ahead and do those. New action mapping shoot. 
left mouse button. There you go. And then action mapping, and we title this one Alt Shoot. <clears throat> and that's going to be right mouse button. There you go. All right, so we can close this. We can compile. We have less uh, warnings. I still have one that I need to set up my action mappings for jetpack, slow walk, sprint, crouch. But if I close this and play, now I have my player motion again. So I can move around. I can move my mouse around to look. I can jump. I can shoot with my individual uh, shoot actions, left click and right click for shoot and alt shoot. So now I have my basic character motion in here again. So that's how we can incorporate the migrate function from a previous project into a new project. Last thing I need to do is just go correct those other action inputs and we're ready to go to use the same asset but with a modified way for this new project. That'll wrap up this video on migrating assets from one pro project in Unreal to another project.